Well, because I started running many years ago and there was an advertisement in the paper for the Mother's Day Classic. And I thought, would this be nice to take part in this Mother's Day? So I took part in my first Mother's Day 20 years ago and I'm still running and next year will be my 21st. How about that? And I will be 74 still. But the reason why I started running at 50, because I looked like fat buffer and I thought to myself, well, I've got to do something about this because being an Aboriginal person, our Aboriginal people suffer from diabetes and heart problems. And I thought that I wanted to be a good role model and get out there and show them exercise, do some exercise, walk, run, swim. And that's why I started to look, at, look after myself and thinking about my people. I was diagnosed in 2016, May 2016, the week before the Mother's Day Classic. And I, when I went to the, uh, the Mother's Day run, I felt really emotional. And that's the only time through my whole journey that I felt emotional, just looking at all the people participating, young kids wearing placards, remembering their nan or their aunt or their cousin, you know, a relative, seeing the support of people at that Mother's Day run, supporting people who had breast cancer. I had been having mammograms uh, all the time, every second year I think it was, and I went and had the mammogram and then I received a letter a couple of weeks later and I knew for sure that yes, I had the breast cancer. My first reaction, I was quite shocked, but then everything else was running through my mind because I was very busy at the time. And um, I just thought, let me know exactly what I need to do, all the rest of it, because I'm busy with the football. Because um, that month, it was the first time for the Dreamtime game in AFL football that was going to be named after my father, Pastor Sir Doug Nichols. So that was on my mind because I was on the, well I still am, on the AFL organising committee and that's all I was thinking about. I've got to help with this run. I can't be worrying about cancer and when they want to operate and all the rest of it, I just have to wait. My treatment is finished now. I saw my uh, doctor a couple of weeks ago and I've been given the all clear. So that's just fantastic for me because now it just makes me work harder. And my goal for next year is to do the Gold Coast uh, Half Marathon and that will be my sixth. So I'm so looking forward to that and I've already started training. I just think it's very important you know, the um, fundraising that people do, I just congratulate them because it's hard work trying to get money from people and all the money that we can get for breast cancer, for the new machines to help people, it is marvellous.